Hi, this is Paul Gabriel with another episode of Ask ZBrush. Okay, in this episode, we're gonna take a look at the Pattern 2 brush. A question came in, how can I create my own Pattern 2 brush? So let's take a look at the brush and break it down so that you know how to create your very own brush. So number one, this brush has an alpha attached to it, but when I go ahead and brush across, you'll notice that it's more than just the alpha that is being applied to our surface. Not only do we have this alpha, but in the brush palette, we have a surface noise that is being applied to the surface through the brush. So this is what the pattern two brush is using. It's using our surface noise with this alpha. So let's take a look at the surface noise by hitting edit. And when this opens, you'll see our noise maker window opens to showing you that in the bottom left corner, there's an image of like a rock pattern that is giving us that pattern that we get when we brush across the surface with the alpha. So this is going to give us an ability to bring in a 2D image in this case and have it being applied to our surface when we use our brush. And there are going to be other various controls here that we can use to adjust this image and maybe I want a different strength and you can see you can change the direction of your strength you can change the scale of that as well, all within the noise maker. Now, the other benefit that this is going to give us is when I brush across a surface like I am here, pressure sensitivity is going to come into play. So if I was to brush a little bit lighter, you can see the rocks aren't as big as when I push harder on my tablet. So I've got with a lighter pressure, You've got smaller rocks that aren't being coming off the surface as strong as compared to pushing harder. Okay, so what's controlling, helping control this is this option right here with this slider. So we have the ability to have a dynamic scaling based upon our brush size. So I'm just gonna bump this up to five. We'll make this a little bit larger. So this is in essence a multiplying slider. So whatever my brush size is, if the harder I push, you can see the larger now the rocks are going to get because now I have a fairly larger brush size. But now I've told it the pattern can go five times larger than what my brush size actually is right now. So let's undo that and push lighter and you'll see that the rock pattern's a little bit smaller. So let's go with a smaller brush size now. And then now you'll see we can get rocks that are a little bit different size when I push with different pressure sensitivity. So once again, it's using my brush size along with this slider because we have activated a dynamic size. So if I'm pushing lighter, I get a different size rock than when I'm pushing harder. The other thing that this is doing for us is if you remember when we pulled up our noise maker, we had a 2D image. Well, this image is a 2D image that is going to be projected to the surface to be used in your brush. Now, where my brush location becomes important. So this local projection mode is telling ZBrush that when I go and start sculpting, in this case here, and if I move this sphere to somewhere else and sculpt, you'll see I still get that pattern being projected to the surface the way I would want it to be. So this enables me to go to different parts of a sphere and kind of do a combination now of using that same alpha on this sphere in multiple locations. So what I've actually done is I've made another brush that gives me results like this. So I've made a pattern rock brush brush is what I'm calling this one. And so we'll come back to this sphere and you'll notice, once again, this has a repeating alpha pattern in the bottom left. And again, it's important that if you're going to bring an image in to here to have a pattern, you want it to be, be able to repeat either vertically and horizontally. So what I mean by this is here, I'm going to change my strength to 
punch out this rock pattern a little bit. And then you'll see no matter how what I do with the scale, the pattern, okay, is repetitive. It repeats over and over and over again. So you want to bring in an image that can repeat in any direction so that when you're sculpting, you have a consistent pattern to make up something that looks like it wasn't from one image. So I'm going to go back to having my strength the way it was. And then now, once again, if I push lighter, I get a different size rock to when I push harder. Okay, so now I want to go with a little bit bigger brush size and get even larger rocks. And then once again, a lighter brush size, sorry, a lighter pressure sensitivity will give me different size rocks. So this is a great way to make very quickly, in this case, a rock sphere. So you can see back in this, this is how I made this sphere with this brush. I just changed my pressure sensitivity to make different size rocks and then changed my brush size also to go larger and smaller with the rocks as well. And this is how you can create your very own pattern brush with inside a ZBrush. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to send your questions into hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Once again, you send your questions to us through Twitter by using the hashtag AskZBrush. Have a great day and happy ZBrushing.